Hey guys, it's Kath. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a much needed clean with me and organizing in this house. We just got home from our vacation a couple weeks ago and things are a little chaotic. Plus it's the springtime and it always gets me excited to clean and reorganize. So we're taking you guys along today. No judgment on my office, okay? Life of a content creator because it's just clothes and packages everywhere and this room is where we were packing for our trip so it's a disaster and I cannot work with it like this so we're making sure this room gets done no matter what. Okay, starting in the kitchen, we're putting the clean dishes away and cleaning the counters. I feel like once you clean the counters off, everything else already seems so much cleaner and less chaotic. It also doesn't last long around here because once the boys see a clean counter, they're like, awesome, wow, now I have space for all my crafts and Legos, right? <laughs> Our hood above our stove had some buildup on it, so Sean took a degreaser to get that clean and like new, and he's doing the same with the stove. Side note, I can't wait to get a backsplash installed here. I've been so indecisive on the style I've wanted for like two years, but we're planning to finally do it this month, so I'm so excited about that. I saw this cleaning hack or tip on TikTok where you get a wet paper towel and a knife or a toothpick and get all the food and the crumbs from the sides of the stove and it worked like a charm. Look at all of that. Ooh. This little basket in the sink is so helpful for us because our trash can isn't under our sink. So to avoid always having to walk back and forth and with the kids, it's just easier to use this. When they put the dishes in the sink, they dump their food there and then we just kind of make quicker trips to the trash. I'll link it down below for you guys if you need one. But I saw a lot of people recommend this cleaner on TikTok, so I bought it at Walmart to try it out and I'm actually really shocked at how well it worked. It only cost like around $2 and it had this drain shining. The boys literally just strolled in and asked, is someone coming over today? And when we said no, they were like, well, why are you guys cleaning so much? <laughs> so I don't know if they're coming at us or if this is a sign we need to clean more around here. <laughs> they're at a good age where we're including them in some of the chores, like teaching them to do dishes, sweeping and things like that. But sometimes it's so much easier and quicker to just do it ourselves. So if you have any tips on including kids in the cleaning and maintaining of the home where it's actually enjoyable for them, please let us know in the comments. Okay, so it's been like a little over an hour, probably almost an hour and a half, and we're still in the kitchen. I kind of had high hopes that we would be like, <laughs> probably at least like halfway done by now. We still didn't even get to like the breakfast nook area over here um, in the fridge. We cleaned the fridge the other day, so we don't have to like really do a deep, deep cleaning in the fridge yet, but I'm just taking a water break. The boys are playing outside. I think Kyler just woke up from his nap, so John's gonna get him. Also, I wanted to show you guys this new water filter pitcher that we got. It's from Life Straw. I actually have a 20% off sale right now, so I'm gonna put it down below for you guys. But it's so cool. So I was looking into like different water options that are safe for the family because with a baby, we transition from breastfeeding to formula and all that. There's just you don't know what's in the water, right? So we were kind of researching for a couple months since February, I think, when we wanted to make the switch. And I found out about their water filter pitcher. This is called the home. It removes like bacteria, parasites, lead, microplastics, over 30 other contaminants. Um, makes the water taste really great. And I love that they also have like this give back thing where for every purchase made, they give like safe water to children in need. So I think thought that was really cool. So I'm gonna link that down below for you guys. We love it. And I know it's like peace of mind knowing that our children, our family is getting safer water. And we're also making like really great decisions in you know, being more sustainable and not having to buy plastic water bottles or gallons because ever since we got this, I haven't had to. So that's pretty cool too. So we are going to finish here in the kitchen, kind of get this area dusted and cleaned and everything. And then as soon as we can get to the living room, these are the areas that I think take the most time really doing deep cleaning. And then um, I want to be able to like get into organizing the cabinets and get to, I'm excited about the organizing part. So 
This is taking a lot longer than I thought, but it's also like fun. I feel like I should record myself cleaning all the time and then we'll get like a lot more cleaning done around the house, you know? Ba 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 ba. How cute is it? Sleep and chic. It's time to get rid of the old and in with the new. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. Like this is so cute. It's literally the same. It was the same um link. And I went to go order a new one of this. Cause you know, time to like change them out, replace it. And I saw this little modern version. So cute. So you have all these different bottle cleaner sizes and stuff this comes out and so you can like drain it because it has holes in there and then you drain it super cute all right kyler wants to get out of his chair we have so many things under the sink that we don't even use often so i needed to simplify it but also wanted to make it a more functional space so i'm cleaning up the area and putting this waterproof mat here i'm putting all the dishwasher pods and sponges in these cute acrylic drawers and storing only the cleaners that we actually use here on the shelf and that'll make it so much more functional The breakfast nook isn't usually like a high traffic area. There's not too much going on in here, but it definitely needed some dusting and quick disinfecting because Kyler, our baby, usually opens up these little drawers. So cleaning that and then this mirror. I clean all the windows and mirrors with this new window cleaner. I also saw on TikTok for around $2 and oh my gosh, it looked like I could jump through it. It's so crazy how clean it got. I was clearly shocked. <laughs> I just finished scrubbing and cleaning this <gasps> oven. Slaving away, elbow <laughs> grease and all. And you about to make spaghetti? I'll be, I'll be you could have so made a ham and cheese, a little I, mayo, I, I quick wipe. I so careful. Oh, look at the, look at the spaghetti dust. No. It just sprinkled all over <laughs> my countertop. My goodness. Skyler, tell your father how to you. Say I'm fine. <laughs> okay, finally off to the living room and the sofa. I love having my white sofa, but whoo, this thing is high maintenance with kids and a dog. I don't think I'd ever want to get a darker sofa because I love the bright and airy vibes in our home, but I kind of like really dislike having to wash this. The top cushions come off pretty easily, so we wash those and sometimes if I have time, I'll soak them in OxyClean for a while, but today's just a quick wash and then we have to air dry them because you can't put them in the dryer. But while we're doing that, Sean is vacuuming the sofa and tidying up the toys there and just finishing up the living room space. Now to the dining room. Oh my gosh, if only there could be four of us, right? <laughs> to be honest, me and Sean would probably not be doing anything at all and making our clones <laughs> do all the work. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not sure what my plans are for the decor here because Kyler is moving and grooving now that he's won and he always comes here and knocks everything down. So for now, I'm just dusting it and cleaning this area and then we'll figure out the decor after. Moms of boys, sound off in the comments if you know what it feels like to be cleaning up pee spots off the floor, walls, and just everything. <laughs> I just didn't foresee this in my future when I became a mom, you know? But here I am. <laughs> this is the main floor bathroom that everyone mainly uses, so it needs a lot more cleaning than the upstairs bathroom does. Plus, there's a lot of reorganizing that I needed to do in here too. Like here on the shelf, I had my postpartum basket that had all my stuff I needed when I had a baby a year ago. Like. Why is this still here? <laughs> you can also see the contact paper we use for these faux wood shelves peeling off too. So it's definitely time to redo that. It lasted over a year though, so it was a good option for us. I shared this entire bathroom renovation in a video and I'll link that down below if you didn't see it, as well as all of our home renovation videos because the home you see before you is not what we bought. We've done so much work here throughout the years. Now for under the sink storage and organizing, this area is sometimes frustrating when I'm looking for something, everything is thrown around in these little baskets. So I need Needed to purge some things here too and get more functional baskets and shelves a lot of the stuff we don't even use daily so i'm getting rid of them and then for this shelf just cleaning it out putting little dividers to make things more organized and that's done so much better and everything has its designated space now because this is a bathroom with higher traffic the floor needed some extra loving so i took out this new floor cleaner which is supposed to sweep and mop at the same time but honestly i couldn't figure it out so i'll come back to that i took out my regular mop to finish in there Now to the mudroom. Like I said, we just got back from our trip. Well, not just, it was more like two weeks ago, but we still had some luggage to put away. And this is just a huge drop zone for us, so it needs more maintaining for sure. The weather in New England is finally getting warmer, kind of. So I'm putting away the winter coats and boots finally, and just cleaning up this space. And then also just gonna go through the boys' shoes and getting rid of the ones that don't fit anymore. And here's Sean just trying out the electric cleaner again to see if we can give it another chance. Oh, the office, save the biggest mess for last. This place is really hard to keep organized and clean because when we get packages, they end up here until I'm ready to open them. When I do any shopping, the bags come here. And with all our filming, there's just so many outfits and things that get thrown here. I just need a better system for sure and more storage options in this room. And I think that'll really help. Sean's back with the mom, <laughs> giving it another chance. But I think we really figured it out this time. It has a motor in it, so it moves forward on its own and actually does sweep and mop at the same time. Look at that and look at how much it sweeps up. I'm actually really impressed now that we figured it out. So I'm kind of impressed by it, but I feel like it's one of those things that as we get to use it a little bit more, like I'm not completely sold on it our first time using it right now. Yeah, I'll let you guys know how we end up liking it, but it seems like it's gonna be a good option for like end of the night, tidy up, sweep and mop all at the same time. That way you don't have to have this huge cleanup like we're doing today because I'm exhausted. We've been cleaning for the past 48 hours, no sleep. Good sleep. Knocked out on that couch. <laughs> and we're done, at least with the first floor. <laughs> this took us all day, guys, so we didn't even get to the second floor in our bedrooms. But let me know in the comments if you want us to record that next. We can take you guys along. But I hope you like this video and it was motivating for you to get some cleaning and organizing done in your home and just being a better steward of what God has given you. We love you guys so much. Make sure you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next one. Mwah. Be blessed.